are so many fishermen ending up with empty nets? Well, that's a very good question, Cheryl. The bottom line is federal regulations that basically dictates where, when, and how much they can catch. And those regulations, those quotas, if you like, those shares are just not enough. And it's threatening the livelihood of many people up and down the eastern seaboard from, well, from Maine all the way down to Florida, essentially, and on the west coast, too. But it's especially hard hit in this area where the smaller operations are really having a hard time being able to make enough money and able to catch enough fish to make it worth their while. And uh, we've spoken to a number of people throughout the day here, commercial fishermen and many politicians on the national down to the local level. In fact, we had an exclusive interview with Democratic U.S. Senator John Kerry, who told us that a whole way of life is now under threat. Fishing is a huge part of our history, of our culture, of our economy. We want to keep it alive. Uh, we want future generations to be able to do what people have been doing for 400 years up here. And we're going to fight very, very hard to make sure that we continue this vital component of our economy as well as our culture. Vital to the economy and the culture, but it has been going on for some time. And the frustration from, the, from this side of the equation, from the commercial fishermen, is they're getting no response at all from NOAA, the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, who set the rules. They say that it was done arbitrarily. There was no referendum. They were just basically told, this is the way it's going to be. Uh, and they're very upset and bitter about that. We've had bipartisan support politically to challenge these, uh, this system, but so far it hasn't led to any tangible results. Well, joining me now is Brian Loftus. He is indeed a, a commercial fisherman. You're out of uh, Rhode Island, Point right? Point Judith, Rhode Island, yep. Brian, thank you for joining us. Um, how are these regulations, these uh, catch shares, to use the technical term, how has it affected your business? Uh, well, uh, every year I go ground fishing. Most of the catch shares have been put into place for uh, ground fish. Okay. And in southern New England, they've made it, if you're, gonna, if you're not into a sector, they've kind of forced you either into a sector or you just don't participate ground fishing because you have to tow nets that don't catch or are unable to catch codfish and yellowtails, which is exactly what you'd be targeting. So there's actually no sense in doing it. So they're almost forcing your hand to join a sector. I, I won't How's join it because- affected? Of, How has it affected you? I, I didn't go ground fishing last year. I didn't you go once. didn't do it? I didn't do it. And what about other people you know in the industry? What kind they, of impact has it had? Uh, they've sold out. They've sold their licenses and sold their boats or, you know, or scrapped them. You know, cut them We're up, put them about in a, a dumpster. Lot of people, a huge industry. A lot of people. Uh, catch shares around the world have typically, uh, they failed for one thing, but they put 60 to 70 percent of the people out of business. And right now, with, you know, we've gone from importing 15 percent of our seafood in 20 years to importing uh, 86 percent, and it's all garbage seafood. And you have this, uh, you made up this uh, bumper sticker, commercial fishing, support it or import it. Right. It's already happening. Is oh, it's already say. happening. I mean, we're at 86 percent. How much farther can we go? And, you know, no, there's no accountability in National Marine Fisheries Service. They come out and they say, OK, you can catch 180,000 metric tons of ground fish a year. But yet they put so many regulations and restrictions on us that we haven't harvested more than 44,000 metric tons in the last 10 years. So those fish are staying out there, growing old and dying. They're not getting on someone's oh, the plate. Economy is hurt, is the dying economy is here hurting. Land. The people that used to work on the boats aren't there. And okay. the American public is getting poor quality imported seafood from countries that practice little or no conservation at all. Brian Loftus, commercial fisherman, thank you for joining us. And there is the issue uh, there, Sharon. Noah says that these, uh, these restrictions are in place to protect the stock because the fish are running out. But even now, there are questions about the science mm -hmm. used to get that data. Back to you. Ashley Webster, thank you very much for that live